In this video, I will introduce you JMolecule, an amazing framework annotation driven by Java where you can enhance and guarantee the software design inside your project today. Hello you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who want to become an ultimate software engineer to learn more about software design, software architecture, applying the best practices of the open source world. So subscribe in my channel. In this video, I will introduce to you the J Molecule Framework. That is a library that helps you to express architecture and soft design in Java code. So it is annotation-driven design. This way you can identify your domain-driven design components or your architecture layers components just using annotation. And based on that, you can do several integrations. For example, you can verify based on this annotation if you are following the domain-driven design rules defined by the molecules or using the layers and so on. So the first step that I do recommend you to have access is the J Molecules repository code. As you can see, it has a nice readme documentation where you can identify. So as I mentioned to you, you can express your architecture design by annotation, on this case using domain driven design where I'm identifying the, the entity and then the identity value object and so on, repository as well. And it can go beyond that because the molecules bring several libraries or extensions where you can use with domain driven design, as I mentioned previously, with events and naturally with some architecture concepts or architectural components. So domain layer, application layers, uh, and so on, and more libraries extensions. So CQRS, layer architecture, as I mentioned before, onion architecture, hexagonal architecture, and so on. Okay, Otavio, right now I put annotations. What can I do with that? You can validate those annotations using ArcUnit, for example, and JMolecules bring several components to make your life easier to test those components. So you can verify if your soft design is following properly your domain driven design or the architecture layer. Okay, so beyond that, if you are using Spring, you can combine J molecules annotations um, with that. On my scenario, I will introduce you quickly J molecule with domain driven design. Uh, it's a simple Java SE project, as you can see here. So I included uh, the J molecules domain driven design, the layer architecture, and then the test integration that I show to you briefly. Uh, right now, what I'm gonna do, I will create my first domain driven design component here that will be the credit card. So I have my credit card, I will identify as entity, and then I will create my number, the name, and naturally, when it will expire okay so that is it so i have my empty my class and based on this annotation i can use i can use those modules or my dependence to do this integration so i have two ways to to do this thing the first one is using only Arc Unity, as you can see here. So I have the package, and using the J Molecule architecture rules, I'm checking both 
if I'm following the layer integration and if I'm following the domain driven design integration. On this case, when I run, uh, naturally it's gonna fail because I have my entity if without an ID or an identity. So I can define number or I can create a unique ID and then define this one as identity. So when I run again, naturally it's gonna check, okay? Um, naturally, the goal of this video is to keep short, just introduce you the power of J Molecule and how you can integrate that with, with your soft architecture, okay? So you can do this way here. So I have my Archie rules from the J Molecule, as you can see here, the library. I'm not creating anything. I bring those rules from the J Molecule itself on both occasions. So one to define the DDD rules and another one to define the layers rules. So that is it. I run again. Naturally, I don't have several rules validations on this case. And that is it for today. So hopefully you enjoy. It is time to also create tests inside your co-design structure. Hopefully you enjoy, please give your comments. And if you want to become even better software engineer, uh, subscribe in this channel. That is it for today. Bye.